Hello everybody, this is Epamine here, coming at you with some more Strike Suit Zero Director's Cut. Now, hopefully, the way that I've actually been recording and editing things is still going strong. The last episode, I believe, of Strike Suit Zero that I did had some little new technology type bits in it that, with luck, made it ever so slightly better. And I'm continuing all of that this time. Now, in the last time, we mounted an attack on the Taranto, which went kind of okay. We went and blew a bunch of shit up, which made me very happy. But then, uh, Control and McCallum decided to leave Bowman for dead, because he was an asshole. And I was totally okay with that. And, I also went back, unlocked the shield upgrade off-screen, so now I've got slightly better shields. Now, this next mission, the Mercury, who we sent off about five missions back, issues a distress call. Turns out they found out something really, really, really important that we really want. We gotta destroy the enemy cruiser to unlock this new upgrade. But yeah, so, Mercury is in trouble. They've got stuff that we want. Uh, let's, let's see... Yeah, for this one, since they're a bunch of torpedoes, I'm taking the crew 500. It makes you know the easy makes it much easier to actually hit and destroy them. The crew 1000 is a bit bit too much overkill and uses a little too much power, so it's tougher to take out entire groups of them with the crew 500. And I'm taking nothing but rocket pods because there are a lot of big, big, slow capital ships that you're gonna want to blow up in this mission. So that just makes everything so much easier. Ooh, story! Your objective is to safeguard the Mercury and secure the intel she's carrying. She's being pursued by an enemy force of unknown size. Eliminate the threat and secure the intel. You've reached the rendezvous. No contacts. Holding position. Well, my, just well, I'll sit here. Sit here and spin. Oh, is it the Mercury? It's the Mercury. We have the intel, but we can't transmit. We have to take it to control. Mercury, this is UNE Cruiser Titan. How long until you can fold out? We overloaded our drive just trying to stay ahead of them. We're going to need some time. Copy that, Mercury. Moving to cover your location. Will something happen soon? This may be... Uh, uh. Huh? Ha! Ah, colonials! Watch yourselves. Those are Black Fleet ships. Mercury, if you can do anything to speed up your drive recharge, do it. Well, I'm sure we'll be fine. They're only Black Fleet ships. Now, in this case, what I'm probably gonna do... Blow up the torpedoes. Shut up, Reynolds. We've emptied this at least 14 times before. But... What you're probably going to actually want to do is target at least a few of the fighter craft because they will harry the crap out of you in this mission. Now they're actually one of the primary sources of difficulty when it comes to actually, you know, surviving because they've they've got a bunch of uh, very densely clumped fighter craft here who will, uh, if you try to actually go after one of their capital ships, they will all close in and try to blow, try to blow you up. So I'm going to try and take out a, probably about half dozen, give or take, uh, just to make the runs over to that frigate easier. And see, the problem is you can't, you can't, uh, select multiple priority targets, which, if, honestly, if, uh, Born Ready ever, ever, ever makes uh, another game like this, they need to have multiple target priority, because it's, it's like, alright, I want, you know, want to concentrate on two separate things that aren't necessarily directly 
directly related to the objective of the mission, i.e. destroying the turrets, but they're also still extremely important. For example, the torpedoes. I want to blow up the torpedoes because it buys, me, buys you way more time to be able to save the Arcadia, and it also pretty much gives you free flux, which is incredibly useful in this sort of mission. It, because A, you gotta maneuver around around the ship, and B, yeah, it's honestly it's a lot easier to take out the fighter craft when you do that as well. So the torpedoes you generally want to keep on because it's just it's good, it's good. More time, more explodey bits. Just general general happy days minus fawns. Man, and try not to smash right into the hull of the ship, and ship first. Okay, no. Yeah, generally, uh, once you take out the turrets, once you take out the turrets, the Titan will be able to move in and just blow this this frigate right out of the proverbial water. So it's really not a huge deal to actually go after any of the hard points, uh, because as I recall, this isn't. This is, this is not, uh, despite it's, uh, being rather formidable, this is not the ship that we actually want to blow up. That is a different ship that, if I recall correctly, will come in and try to completely massacre the crap out of us and probably honestly succeed. Yep. Free flux, I mean torpedoes. Well, I'm already at max flux. Why I know you use you flux? You gotta, gotta remind me. Blame it entirely on this game and not on my mediocre at best skills. Up, uh, obviously. So yeah, just kinda strafe back and forth to make sure that the flak and plasma turrets don't just completely eat you alive. Go after the torpedoes. First part's not that difficult. Alright, so this is where, this is where some parts of, you know, this is where part of the mission starts to get annoying if, if you're not quite prepared for it. Because again, the, uh, it's generally the same thing as the frigate, where the corvettes have escorts, as well as their own, as well as their own turrets. So if you're not really, really careful, you can easily just completely get yourself obliterated. However, in this case, I want this Corvette dead. Oh, cool. And we get the cinematic. But yeah, goddammit, I want this Corvette dead. I want his family dead. I want all of them dead. And, nope. I was like, oh crap, do I have enough thrust? Yeah, this is also why I brought the uh, rocket pods. Rocket pods are pretty much the best way to take down a Corvette. Absolutely amazing. New contacts. It's a black fleet Come on, bring it on! We got this! Alright, you. Alright, looks like we got about a hundred... a hundred rockets left, which will help in hitting the uh, enemy cruiser hard points. This is, however, <coughs> Wolverines. I swear to goodness. This is also another time at which you're really, really uh, fighter crafts. You're which at which you're really gonna want to try and take out some at least some of the interceptors because they they will give you a lot of trouble later on, and I mean a lot of trouble. And unfortunately, the UNE wingmen that you're assigned are just not... I won't... Again, I won't say they're useless because they're not. They just suck. So... In general, you're gonna wanna... You're gonna wanna make it such that... Okay, you don't wanna make it such that uh, you don't have to worry as much about that kind of thing. Oh, freaking Corvette. Quit flying over my own ship trying to cover your ass from my rocket missile pad systems. There we go. Get 
good lord, it's difficult to see when they do that. Alright, so Corvettes are down, capital ships are on. Let's see if we can get this thing down in 30 seconds, which we're not going to be able to. But darn it, we can try. We can try, man. Look at those hard points explode. I want them all. I want them all gone. I want them all gone, and I want them all gone right now. And see, the problem is when you when you target capital ships, you, you target the capital ship as a whole. You don't target any of the, say, like the flat cannons or anything like that that would actually help you stay close long enough to deal any mod you know, any tiny amount of serious damage. And it's really annoying. I, I'm not a huge fan. It also makes hitting hard points a little bit difficult. Not excessively so, but if you're trying to actually get the cruiser out. Ah! No, but I want the thing! No! I was not able to blow up the cruiser. Oh well. if we can't take it out. So yeah, obviously the Black Fleet fighters are a cut above the rest. They actually hit you with lasers, and they also do dodge types. You know, that kind of thing. And they're just generally less stupid than the other types of the other types of colonial fighters that you're gonna be up against. So if I recall yeah, this is the main, if I recall, the main problem here you're going to see is from the fighters. The carrier doesn't have too many defenses of its own in terms of trying to take down the Mercury, but the interceptors will blow crap up, so... I actually prefer to give them something to not think about because they'll be dead and it, as far as I understand it's extremely difficult to think when you're dead so yeah wow okay we actually I actually might lose this the mercury is not doing well holy crap there is there a way where I can disable the freaking carriers Got, like guns of some description because I'm, I'm really wow wow well good job me all right let's restart the checkpoint and let's see if okay I have refilled rocket pods which is going to make this much much easier now this for some reason, I, I, re I remember things going a little bit differently. I'm not exactly sure, not exactly sure why this is, but uh, for some reason, I remember unlocking other other ships at this point, and I, I distinctly remember unlocking one of the ships that I actually liked, one of the ships that, believe it or not, actually kind of catered to my playstyle. So I, I genuinely have absolutely no clue why I have not yet unlocked any of the fighters that I actually like to play because uh, they have several versions of the strike suit you don't just have the it's not just the base the base strike suit you can pick uh, one that's for example has like a stealth field I believe that's the Revenant and then there's the Marauder which is pretty similar to how it works in Starcraft 2, Wings of Liberty, basically, it's a regular ship that's just been freaking beefed up, uh, and is way, way slower, 
but also offers way more defensive and offensive capabilities in exchange for crippling, crippling its own speed. It's one of those things where, uh, really, it comes down to personal preference, but I would swear that I, I had unlocked the Marauder at this point, and the Marauder, the way the Marauder works, it's basically built for heavy engagements, unlike this strike suit. The base strike suit is much more is based much more around guerrilla tactics. Its shields are not awful, but they're also not particularly protective. Whereas the Marauder can soak up a ton of damage. It has to. It's it's far 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 too slow to really be able to uh, to really be able to not be able to to eat a ton and a half of damage before it actually gets near anything. Whereas uh, with the way that this strike suit moves, it's it's actually you know. It's actually quite possible to okay. It's actually possible to you know hit to do hit and run attacks fast enough where you're not going to die every time unless you're me and about to die. But the Mercury can fold out, which is what I wanted, and I think I survived. So woo! Yes. Did I mention that hardcore mode actually gets difficult later on? Because uh, hardcore mode gets kind of difficult later on. Yeah, it's it's rough. Did I get bronze at least? Oh, come on, come on! Really, really, no metal, no upgrade. <sighs> Oh uh, well. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, Mercury's escaped. Colonials have no cause for alarm, even though it disables one of the most important features of the alien ship that they call the relic. UNE gave nothing of value, even though it tells us how to, you know, disable one of the most important features of their ship that they call the relic. And they demonstrated little in the way of skill, even though they sent the Black Fleet after us, and we accomplished our mission anyway. But no, 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 yeah, UNE, UNE sucks. That's friggin' great. But, well, that was that. I died, unfortunately. I, I did, I did need to do a restart checkpoint and refill my, my Titan rocket pods because once you run out of Titan rocket pods, in that taking down any sort of large capital ship becomes so much more difficult. So that helped a lot. Hopefully I won't die nearly as much in the future, but for now, thank you all very, very much for watching. As always, I appreciate it. You have been with me, Ampamine, and I've been coming at you with some Strike Suit Zero Director's Cut. I will catch all of you on the flip side.